2022. Attendees in this conference. The host has joined the conference. Glory be to God. I'm here, people of God. I'm here. Can you all hear me now? Yes, we can. Can you? Yes, go ahead. What I was saying, people of God, I was trying to get in the word. And what wherever I need to catch up on, I will come back to it. Glory be to God. Hallelujah. So what I'm trying to say, people of God, is that it is not for anyone that have people, you know, like a covering and to ignore. You cannot do that when you're in the spirit. You want to be all hear what I'm saying? When, when you're doing the work of God, you must, there must be a balance. That's why the Lord tell me, two is double balance. He said one, a part of the two which is one, must be for the physical. Another part of the two which is one must be for the spiritual. And for certain, it, it can be so for certain people. But I rise up to say, you can even have one and a half for one and half for the other. And, and I believe that's where I'm riding. I'm riding in the one and a half. Where my spiritual is more than my physical. Why? Because I find myself more doing things spiritually than physically. Not by saying I'm not working. Because people of God, you'll be surprised to know the hard working person that I am. Oh my God, I have done some work. Oh Jesus Christ, help me. Oh Amen. Jesus. But I'm not talking about that. I'm talking about people of God of being conscious. The conscious, the spiritual part of me take, mo take a lot of my consciousness. Not that I'm left empty. I'm not left empty. But I have enough to can realize that I must be conscious of doing the physical. You all hear me? Because of the person that I am, I have to stay spiritually. The reason for that, demon always trying to come and get me for you all out there. Not getting me for me, you know. They, get, they want to kill me so that they can um, kill and destroy people that I'm praying for. Yeah. So, what a, so what happened right there? You all don't understand. The Bible tells us that they will try to take out the strong man first. That's right. Be going spirit. Every time I'm here, when I like, like if I'm here, not like now, because right now, while I'm on the employment line, it's a different situation where I am praying, whatever. It's like it's like there, it's like a volcano, a power moving right now. Amen. Whenever I'm quiet by myself, like, I, I just read the Bible and I lay down and just focusing on the word, name it and what of you. I always can pick up in my, in, 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 not just in my spirit, but on my very body. My very body start to pick up forces of darkness in the area, wherever it is. Like, they, 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 they're close by me. I want to hear what I'm saying. They're not in the house. They're close by. They're probably around the yard. Get what I'm saying? Or on the outside of the fence, they're around the yard or wherever. Because you have to understand, whenever you're doing work like this, you're protected by angel. But the demons then will try to come as near as they can to see who, if they can conquer. But whenever you have a prior life, what happened right there? There's a fire that keep burning and no demon can come near or look at it. This is no joke thing, but that is the next message for me to, to teach about. I will in Jesus' name. And I'm asking God to bring it forth this Sunday if possible. Lord, bring it forth this Sunday if possible. Sister Gay, please write that down. Write it down because it's going to be very great and powerful to teach about. Yeah. Yeah. What I'm trying to say, people of God, you must, as, as a leader that God has put and give such a mantle. The mantle that myself here is carrying is not a simple mantle. And there are many leaders like myself, especially being an, ap an, an apostle of the Most High God. I have to be moving in the fivefold ministry. That means I move as an apostle 
over all the 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 the, the, mini, the, the four the rest of four plus involved with the, the one make five i have to move as a prophet a teacher a pastor an evangelist plus being an apostle i want to all get what i'm saying Amen. so i have i operate in the the whole five but still yet i am a apostle i want to hear what i'm saying yeah, yeah. So what I'm trying to say, people yeah. of God, carrying such a mantle is not, oh, Sister Ivan, come on. Sister Sharon, you want us to go to the store? Um, My sister Merlin, come. Let us go shopping. Let us this. You see, carrying such a mantle, I have to weigh my position and know what I'm doing. Yeah. Because... You are always on an assignment for the Lord. It goes, it goes being to a, being a pastor. It goes being a bishop, a, a elder, whatever, whatever position you take in the church or, or where God's people are concerned. But an elder might not take the position to be over God's people, but is in the midst working alongside with maybe a bishop, whoever, name it. But what I'm trying to say, people of God, as a pastor, let's talk about a pastor. Because an apostle, an apostle, a prophet, an evangelist, name it, they can, you can be a pastor at the same time. You get what I'm saying? Yes. You can be a pastor at the same time, but you don't have to, you, you, you cannot be an apostle. And only, only the apostle operate in the old, the old five. Get what I'm saying? Yes. Yeah. But when saying this, as a leader that God has put over his people, you must be equipped. You must be equipped so that you stay in the spirit to see what is coming at your sheep. I want to hear what I'm saying to you. Is there the one that I'm talking to? I didn't hear nobody. Yes. Yes. You have to be equipped. And what am I talking about? You have to stay, my God Almighty, on your watch. I don't know, my God Almighty. So you have some busybody pastors. All they want to do is go out and shop and yam. Eat. I'm talking about eat. <laughs> if you think it's joke I'm running, my God Almighty, and if some of you could take a check on your pastors that you all have. Some of your pastors, they love going on trips. They love to go places. They want to go to the zoo. They want to they look like they're going to the zoo to pray for the animals them. They want to go here. They want to go. And people have gone. This is no joke thing. I'm serious. I'm not saying that as a pastor, prophet, whatever, you can't go out and enjoy yourself. I'm not talking about. But being busy, busy body and not being watchful over God's sheep. That's sad. Yeah, that's the truth. That's very Speaking sad. Truth, and there are many that are not doing these things. And when somebody happen to have somebody in the midst to be like you know some people take me for granted i can't speak about myself because i see people in the realm of the spirit like crazy i sit here i don't have to be around people because i said from this the assignment that i have to pray for people i'm seeing you out there name it when it come on to sunday i see many that go to their church and then try to come back on the line do whatever i see them i'm not against that i'm not saying anything about that what i am saying is that wherever you know you have been fed and you're getting my god almighty the most covering the most this the most that why can't you see that god has called you somewhere where others are not even watching over your care about you and your family are nobody. I'm not saying that you have to be on this line. I'm not talking about that. I'm just saying, why can't you show the love? 
the love where this ministry is concerned to say, boy, I really and truly this woman of God is praying for me and my family. I must do better. Amen. I must yes. do better. What I'm doing, the way I'm going about doing things, the way I, I come on this empowerment line, the woman of God, because of the Christ in her, I am alive today. Yes, amen. Because God used her to pray for me. God used her to this for me. God used her to that for me. You see, the Bible said, uh, 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 many, many children of God are like the sea that toss to and fro from one place to the other. Come on, talk to me. You're like the sea. Yeah, yeah. You're like the wave of the sea that toss to and fro. And what am I talking about, people of God? I am just saying this, that you all should be blessed to know that God has created somebody like me. I mean, there are quite, there are, there are quite a few of us, one or two, of, not quite, not a lot. There are a handful of us, a handful of somebody like myself here. That really love yeah. God's people and care about God's people. And what I love about God, I don't limit God. If I'm praying, I pray. I don't, if, if, if I have to pray, I pray. If I have to, to speak over somebody's life, I just speak over them, name it or whatever. The Spirit, I bless God for prayer. You all don't even know it, y'all. I bless God for prayer. Prayer is better than everything that I need in my physical life. I said, people of God, you all could have said amen to that. Amen. 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 Prayer is better to me than everything that I need for this physical. It is better to me. Because you need yeah. to understand that's that's one of the that's one of the, 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 the that's the one of the main that's that is that is the main thing the enemy target prayer. He attacked yeah. prayer more than anything else. True. He don't true, he don't true. attack you if you have to preach the word, you know. He don't attack you if you have to teach the word. He don't attack you if you have to do anything. But when you have a prayer life, he know that my God Almighty, that you are very dangerous against His plan. Yeah, yeah. So right there, he don't love you. He don't care about you. He want to see you die. But you have to stay up as a person that God put over God's people. You have to stay up so that when my God Almighty trouble arise, God can show you trouble. You don't have to go around the midst of people. Now look at it. You all don't get it. I don't have... Um, Brother Donald, if he's on the line, he don't have my phone number. I don't have him. We don't correspond. I don't correspond with anybody. But because I am praying constantly for everybody, the Lord said, one of your sheep is in trouble. Come on, people. That's right. That's right. He show me. Brother Daniel come rubbing his head and saying, my mother is in the hospital again. She's not feeling well. And right there, my God Almighty, I take authority over it. I start to pray. I just close off my eyes and it, and I, and it happened. I wasn't sleeping. I just close off my eyes and it happened. The reason for that to happen is because what? You need to understand how God do this, people of God. God do this. You see, he said a clean hands and a pure in heart shall see God. Amen. If brother, yeah, if, yeah, if brother Daniel art is not clean, pure, and his hands is not clean, God would not bring him to me. Amen. Yeah. Speaking the truth. You all don't get it yet. You're speaking the truth. He will bring people that have sincere art and is crying out to him because he see that he believe in what prior. That's right. Amen. The Lord Amen. see that Brother Daniel believe in prayer. He want 
to one for prior to deliver his mother. I want to hear what I'm saying. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. He's not depending on the doctor. He's depending on prior to see her through. Yes. 